Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Europe Universalis 4. For Odin, playing as Yelland, we are fighting Denmark again. Beat up Pomerania real quick. And then, uh, I don't know, we're going to have to find a way to consolidate a bit more of Ireland. I think we're going to be looking for a way to get into Scotland pretty soon though. We could send some ships to actually block them here so that they can't cross anymore with my transports. I know he has a navy floating around somewhere, but if we can do that, then at least we keep him quarantined. And he's not a threat to my Irish territories, giving me unnecessary war exhaustion. So that sounds good. Let's go ahead and try to do exactly that. Uh, never mind. He's actually sending some more troops right now. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We should... I don't know what we should do, actually. We do want to try to knock I uh, Norway out of this war, but they're sending everything they've got over here. Thoman, you're just going to have to hold the line and keep the straight crossing going for a bit. Because there's not a lot that I can do unless I want to split up my navy. What kind of ships do you have? Just transports. You know, my navy could beat that navy. Especially if I, especially if I send anything to help. Maybe we can keep the, stop them from going any further. Bronze cannons for the Ottomans. Yes, I could also go for that tech. Come on, siege down the Pomerania. Hey, we won that fight. Okay, so he cannot cross anymore. So we actually do have them blocked off. Which is good. I can cross, he cannot. So, no threat from Norway to Ireland, just one territory being sieged. That's manageable. How much are we making in terms of money right now? Not much, so I don't want to do any conversions. Uh, don't want to go for the military tech right now. Could go for the admin tech very soon. The institution's penalty is not a thing. Uh, we could go for the tolerance of the true faith. I mean, I really want to get to Deus Volt. I really do. Mercenary maintenance cost is nice as well. I don't know. There was a time, by the way, when I was trying to build up this um, nation, and I had an idea of cost reduction, but I guess I got rid of that before I started. Oh, well. That's probably fun. Corruption! Oh, gosh dang it. Fine, I'm going to lose some reform progress. I'm not losing a stability right now. Just not worth it to me. We do have some uh, rebels that want to fire, but for the most part, they're not that strong. The Pomeranians are going to be a problem, yes. But they've already been converted to Norse. It's just the years of separatism and the fact that I decreased their autonomy. If I had not decreased their autonomy a while back to force them to fire, we actually wouldn't have any problems. What's going on here? Oh, good. We destroyed more of their navy. Perfect. Um, we're probably about to do that again. So let's go ahead and move the navy over here. Let's just pay attention. Make sure that nobody tries to cross. You want out, do you? I'm not going to do that until I've finished taking all your stuff. I want everything. I want all your money. Influenza. Again. Corn. No, I'm not going to worry about it. It's not worth spending the admin power. We need admin power. All right, Pomerania, you're done. So I'm tired of being allied to Denmark. Please stop. I don't care about the rest of this, though. That's fine. Allied to... Oh, military access to Poland. Doesn't matter. Uh, we, aren't, we can't humiliate you because we're not rivals anymore. We can, however, take 75 ducats and take your trade. It makes uh, me better in the Lubeck trade node. I'll let you keep your other alliances because I'm not really looking to have you die. Now, if I did this at 17, that wouldn't trigger a coalition. How much would I have to take... Out of curiosity. To trigger a coalition in the HRE. With Pomerania, sure. But right now, taking both of these would not lead to a coalition in the HRE. How much combined... That's not. That, a lot. That's 16. 16 development. Okay. So if I took three provinces... I'm just trying to get some sense of how much I could take from Lubeck before they become a problem. So, 24 is the answer. It's too much. And Lubeck has too much. So we would not be able to force vassalize them. Not in one war, not without triggering the HRE. Okay. Well, good to know. Um, that's fine. Let's just go ahead and do all of this. I'm going to say break off your relation with Denmark. Uh, trade, blah, blah, blah. You can give your claims against me. Don't really care. More important that I get money. Then we'll tell you to give your claims. Never mind. How many reasons are we off? Not by a lot. But to be honest, I'm not sure how much I care about you having claims on me. That's honestly fine. You're no threat. Break off your military access to Poland. That's a way of getting some more prestige. There we go. All right. Pomerania is out. There we go. Now we can go back over here and focus our efforts on Denmark and Norway and all of the above. Now, we don't need a lot of troops over here. I take that back. We do actually need a lot. Well, I can take off at least some. I can always reinforce later if they are coming after me. 
You guys have finished with your black flagging and whatnot, so you're all on the way back home. Let's go ahead and turn off this fort, save some money. Turn off this fort, save some money. We are capped out on our military power. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do some more development, I think. If I do development somewhere else, I can justify building another barracks. Like right here, for example. That's fine. Still could pick up the tech. Could go for the admin tech. Do I want admin tech? I mean, I really want the workshops. You know what? Let's just go ahead and get it. Let's go ahead and get it. I know that puts me behind here as far as religious ideas, but oh well. Uh, I want to see what kind of workshops we can build and how much money we can get out of that. Point twenty-two. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and build it. Money's important, man. Money's one of the most important resources in the game. Easily. I want it. I want all of it. We're not going to worry about converting anyone else until I can get the 50% cost reduction, though. Um, 86 Republican Tradition is good, but I'm going to go ahead and do one more time with a new leader. Let's go ahead and take the core cost reduction again, because I'm going to take a lot more. We have Goods Produce Modifier with Industrious. All right. Lubeck is trying to claim a lot of land. Stop it. I can't kill Lubeck anyway, can I? I mean, with that trade league, it's too strong. It's way too strong. Can't do that. No, 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 no. Hopefully they lose a province and it makes it easy for me to eat them without triggering the HRE later. But you know what? If that doesn't work, then what we can always do is just take Mecklenburg and then feed them their cores back or something. I don't know. Almost got Lund. Lund. Blee, 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 blee. Whatever it is. I don't know. Do I want to take Holstein and Schleswig? That's the other real question here. This is a part of the HRE. Taking Holstein is actually a bit of a risk. We don't need this. I could take Holstein and release them as a vassal. You know, that's my way of getting a march. We don't worry about Lubeck. We just take Holstein, we make him into a march, and let them eat a lot of Germany. That is a way of doing this. That is one way. This is, in fact, de way. Let's go ahead and repair for a tick. Uh, a bark actually is taking a lot of damage. We've stolen more ships. How am I looking in terms of... Okay, we're once again over our naval maintenance. That's kind of fun. Get up to Halland. I think Norway has sent most of their troops over here, so... <laughs> they should be easy pickings at this point. And they've already gotten started on the fort in Bahuslen. Which is great. How are we doing in terms of rebels? I mean, the Pomeranians want to be an issue. I know that, but oh well. Out of curiosity, how much can I take out of Denmark? If I took you guys and released Holstein, we could do that. I think that would actually solve my HRE issues, too. If I do this... Okay, that's a lot. All right, all right, all right, all right. So maybe we don't want to take any HRE territory. Good God, they really do not want me to take the capital of Denmark. They really don't. <laughs> uh, Norway and Denmark, not a problem by themselves. If I do three provinces, we're looking at Pomerania, which can't be a threat. Denmark, Norway, not a threat. Sweden, that'll tick down. If we did this, that's where we start to have problems. So this is the most I could take. Three more provinces, take them away from Denmark. Nothing they can do here. That almost certainly means that they will get eaten. They did Schleswig here. It's still too much, but not by much. If I wait a little bit longer, we actually could take this and release Holstein, and then we can use them in the future. Assuming that I am correct, and that we don't need to worry about Scandinavia. Now, at the same time, I'm already over my relationship limit. Oh, speaking of which, I'm sorry. I've been wasting power this whole time, because I forget about this every freaking time. But there we go, that saves me some power. I'm just going to loot here for a little bit. There's not a lot we can do. Let's just enjoy some free money. I mean, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind this. I would not mind releasing them as a vassal. Turn them into a march. We'll eventually feed them Lübeck, Dithmarschen, Saxlamberg, all these folks in the HRE. This is how I just keep expanding in this area and provide a very strong buffer zone so that no one can get up into Denmark proper and attack me. That's how we do it. It wouldn't be bad. I still prefer Lübeck, but I don't think we're ever going to get Lübeck. So why worry about it? Nobles demand privileges. We have nobles? How? We're pirates. Some of these things don't make sense. Noble pirates, I guess. It's trendy. It's what all the cool kids are doing. 
I don't know. I think we're we're almost done fully looting at this point. The day uh, the Danes. All right, so they got that fort, which means they're moving on to the next one here in Akershus. All right, so now's the time to go and siege everything. Oh, how did Verdan get up here in Trondelag? Hang on, no, 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 you were in the right, you're in the right place. Go back. That was great. No, 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 go back up, go back up there. It was good. Go do it. Ah, they all want to get down Akershus. All right, fine. Out of curiosity, if I decided that I wanted to take more stuff from you, what would I take? An island so far away that no one would care. Gets me a little bit, a little bit of aggressive expansion. If I did this, this would get more coalitions, but only with Norway, really. But then you do that in conjunction with everything else, and it probably reduces what I can take out of Denmark. <sighs> this is too far away, can't turn it into a core. I don't really want to take the island, just because it's so far away that I wouldn't gain much. I'd have to go and deal with rebels and stuff, and why deal with that? I don't see an army. Dang it. <laughs> Where'd you come from? How'd you guys get this back? Who pieced out? No one. How did you get... Fine. Doesn't matter. I don't think I'm actually looking to take much of anything from Norway. Not in this war. In a future war? Sure. Mainly I want you to stop being allies with Denmark. And you got a fair bit of money. And trade and everything else. That's all good. Uh, we'll just siege what we can over here at the moment. I'm going to let them keep taking your forts. Now, one thing I have to be wary of is Norway and Sweden going at it. Sweden likes to eat Norway, and a strong Sweden is as scary as a strong England. Oh, we can get the military tech now. Let's just go ahead and do it. Might as well. Are you retreating your troops? Stop it. Come here. You don't get a retreat from me. Three cavalry? What are you doing leaving three cavalry sitting alone? That's irresponsible, dude. Hey, good. We got axe shoes. All right. Uh, they lost their troops here somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, but they did. Okay. Looks like it's time to go raiding again, by the way. Norway, Norway, Norway. Um, I don't, I don't think we take much. I really don't. They don't have the prime land that I really want. We could take some. But that aggressive expansion is going to add up. It prevents me from taking a lot of land from Denmark, and I gain more from taking stuff from Denmark than I do from taking it from Norway right now. So for now, we just make sure you don't have any friends. We take war reps, take trade power, take as much money as we can. Which is not a lot, apparently. 76 ducats. Alright. But the trade power and stuff is nice. Iceland? Release Iceland, please. <laughs> no, that actually makes it harder for me to take in the future. Um, I think we're just done with this. And with no allies, you are separated, which makes it easier for me to kill you separately in the future. So we have to get Kolding back. But now we've got 93% war score against Denmark, and they're on their own. So now, we should be able to take what I want. The Coalition is not a threat anymore. Because Pomerania already has a truce. Sweden is the only person that doesn't have a truce. They're not going to form a Coalition on their own. And no one else is going to join. So this is actually completely safe for me. Now, if I took this, that, however, would be a problem. So we're not going to worry about that. If I took you, that's not... Well, no, it's a problem. It's a problem. Okay. Uh, I want to take your war reps. And I want to take your money. I could instead take your trade power. But you're not going to have a lot left by the time I'm done with you, except for Holstein. So I think I'll just take your money instead. Also have you revoke a core against Gotland so you can't use that against me in the future. Yeah? Yeah. Done. Thanks, Denmark. You've been a pal. You've been a real pal. I have too few rivals. I have to take another one? Ugh. If there's anyone I have to rival, it's going to be England. I'm just peeved because now I'm going to make England want to kill me. Which they already did. It's just now it really is a threat. Um, I could pay off some war exhaustion. That does delay me from getting the next level of tech by a bit, but it also saves me precious admin power. I can also let it tick down on its own, but I don't want to wait. 
Do that. That saves me a little bit of power. Does this recalculate at the end of the month? No. It already did. There we go. Rebels cross the border. Oh, gosh dang it. All right. We actually do have a few rebels we need to go deal with. So I want to release Holstein. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we coring you right now? No, we're not. Thankfully. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to worry about this. That saves me a little power. Um, yeah, so I think, I think we just go ahead and release, release them. Uh, as soon as we deal with the peasants, apparently. I can't do anything until the peasants are dead. Uh, we are not making a lot of money. So we're not worried about that at the moment. What else can I build? A barracks for 410. We're actually okay on manpower at the moment. Let's go for another workshop. And, um, here, there is actually a natural harbor, so building a marketplace there does make sense. All right. Colding, it does not. Okay, so let's go deal with the peasants real quick. They really should just stick in Denmark. They should not be coming after my territory, but oh well. I'd love them to go and break Denmark some more, but, I mean, they've had a hard enough time. They are coming after my land, so let's just go ahead and grab that. Unsiege it, then we'll release Holstein. We can use them in the future. Now, I may want to consider breaking off an alliance with somebody, and I'm thinking it's going to be Dith Martian. Dith Martian's not particularly pleased with me anyway. Okay, so that frees up a relationship slot. Well, gets me back on par, but at least I'm not going to be suffering quite as much. Why can't I release... What is the problem? I can't. And I don't know why. Holshin doesn't exist. I know that because this is gray. This is one of their core provinces. I do not know of any particular reason why I cannot release them except for perhaps the fact that they are the wrong religion. Is that it? Could that actually be it? I'm going to bleed a bit of money. Uh, I don't think that's it, though. I am pretty confident that for reasons unknown to me, and maybe I'm missing something obvious, it does happen, but for reasons unknown to me, I am unable to release them. Huh. Very bizarre. Local fortification effort. Uh, I will just go ahead and take the defensiveness and colding for the rest of the game, plus 25%, which is actually very strong, especially since it's such a crucial location. All right, we're trying to stop the Pomeranians from being an issue. It's taking a surprisingly long time for you guys to actually release everybody. Uh, let's get our trade ships back to protecting trade in Lubeck. Let's get our galleys off and raiding. Because we should be able to do that again. Pretty sure. Now, this is going to upset Poland by a huge amount. But they're allied to Sweden, so we're going to fight them anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and raid them and enjoy some plunder. This also lets me build some more buildings so I can get wealthier. Smugglers are smuggling or struggling. I was going to say, it kind of makes sense that they're smuggling. That's sort of in the name, isn't it? But there we go. Yeah, let's just go and upset everybody else. Muscovy and stuff, they're not going to be happy, but whatever. 25 more ducats for me. Let's go and raid Sweden. Take all your stuff. Three ducats, it's not a lot. You guys are holding out on me. Certainly seems like you guys don't have as much to steal as you used to. I call that disappointing. But regardless, thank you. Why can't I even core it? All right, because we have a missionary. Never mind, that's why. Duh. <laughs> I was doing this as an experiment. Oh, we're going to go ahead and just uh, turn off all of our forts. Anything else I want to build? Yeah. Let's just go ahead and build a couple of workshops, actually. Every little bit of extra money counts. That's more troops that I can field, more maintenance that I can afford. Okay, I can't raid you guys. Can I raid down here? I definitely can raid Dith Martian. You guys haven't been raided recently. Okay. So there are places I can raid. Getting a little money. 
At some point, you'd think that England would be like, ah, oh, these freaking pirates, we need to kill them. But there we go. 73 ducats. Boom, dude. So good. 420 more manpower maximum there. Influenza spreads again. Um, you want to keep them this time. Yes, it's time to go ahead and start building this up. We can get the next level of admin tech and go for an idea group, but we're not going to. We're going to go for the Tolerance of the True Faith. Reduce that unrest. That actually should help in places like Pomerania, which is of the True Faith. 160 ducats! Oh, so good. Hi, England! 70 more ducats for me. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. It really is. It's so much fun, though. Oh, my gosh. You can't build any manufactories. Why are you acting as if we can do this? Did we unlock a manufactory already? Apparently we did. I might be able to get one at some point. Lord knows we're getting enough off of England. Oh, man. This much suck for you guys. <sighs> Nine ducats there. The Vikings are going a Viking. <laughs> that is a verb, right? Like, we... we oh, there goes a general. We use it as a noun... Right, the Vikings and stuff, but I'm pretty sure Viking was a verb for them. You go a Viking. Not a lot we can steal out of Ireland at this point, but there's no surprise there. Let's go this direction. No point in sieging here. We're going to get them here anyway. Raid, another 18 ducats there. Can we get more out of the Irish Sea? Almost certainly. You betcha. Oh, wait, we already did. Never mind. Go up here. Okay, we converted Slash Fig. Can I release you now? Nope. No idea why we can't. All right, well, I guess we have to core them then. Weird. No march for me. Well, in that case, let's just go ahead and convert people like Gotland, because you guys shouldn't have... Oh, you do have unrest if we do this. Yeah, but even so, once the active missionary is gone and you become Norse, you actually won't have any problems left, so you'll be fine. I don't want to spend more money than that, though. That's, that's about all I can afford. Um, let's go ahead and reduce my army maintenance. Continue sieging, taking everything we can. Thank you. Can we reach over here? One, two, three. No. One, two, three. We can get up here. We can technically get to the coast of Iceland, amazingly enough, and raid them. It's not worth much, but it's something. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Oh, we can get over here now. Thanks to Denmark. Yay! Yeah. Okay, cool. We actually can raid the entire eastern coast of England as well. <laughs> oh, this is so freaking nuts. Scotland, you're going to have a lot of devastation. I'm getting more sailors than I freaking know what to do with, I can tell you that much. Um, we have a fair bit more force limit that I could be using. We can build a manufacturing and colding now. 0.17 for livestock. Yep, that's the thing. It costs a lot of money to do that. I'm not sure it's technically better than going for these. I think we get better return on investment there, technically. But eventually, we'll be able to take it. Alright, let's just go ahead and dock up our galleys. That was a very good raid. Yes, beautiful raiding. I enjoy raiding. Um, Danish separatists are going to be firing up very soon. Time to raise back up that army maintenance. We lost our general, but we can put you in charge now. So I was trying to stop the Pomeranians from being an issue. But I don't think that we need to worry about that anymore. What I do want to do is train up a couple of cannons. Now these have some pretty high maintenance cost, unfortunately. But, cannons in the back row... Fire damage starts to become useful. Okay, the Danish are now pretty high. Let's go ahead and transport these guys over to Finn to start. We'll march across. Let's go ahead and turn back on the Fort of Kolding. Uh, and also Lund. Lund, whatever it is. Where are you going to fire, do you think? 19,000 is a lot. Um, Schleswig has 11 developments. You have 20. You're almost certainly going to fire here. And I don't want to take the straight crossing penalty if I can avoid it. You can transport across... Oh, there we go. Alright, well, the good news is... 
They're stuck on a fort, which means I can get the defensive terrain. No, I can't. But at least I can not take any damage. I think we're okay in terms of um, crossing. How much maneuver you have? One? I don't think I have better than that. No, I have two. We should be fine from a straight crossing penalty perspective. I could wait for the cannon, and I guess we will, just because I can shred the back line a little bit more easily. All right, so we got a cannon. That makes a difference. Let's get in here and kill him. Okay, get crushed. No threat from the Danes. And then for now, let's just go ahead and drill. Make these guys better. For now. It's cost me a lot of money to do all of this. Um, I'm fine with losing sailors. It's no big deal. It cost me a lot of money to do all this conversion right now, unfortunately. Really want to get to this. Really want to get to Deus Volt. Scotland, uh, who are you allied to? You're still allied just to a couple of Irish miners. No biggie. Our truce with you expires soon. That's the thing. Looking for whether or not I want to kill you now. Prevent you from being a problem. Could attack Desmond in the process. Or Tyrone. They're both technically isolated. Kildare has no friends either. Yeah. The biggest... So you might think, right, that we're in real danger if England were to ally one of the Irish miners. But technically, no. Because then I could get to war with England by fighting one of their little allies and not worry about Portugal or, in this case, the Papal State. Do you still have Castile? You do. Yeah, that, that is the biggest concern. That's a big freaking deal. That's a really big freaking deal. We're losing way too much money, by the way. Way too much. Um... This ends in October 1482. I think we need to stop drilling and just go ahead and reduce army maintenance for a bit. I'm bleeding cash. Too much. Too much cash. We could reduce our naval maintenance, too. That does not make a very big difference. It's all about those missionaries right now. The missionaries are what's costing me a ton. Once we're done with Gotland, I think we stop for a little bit. Or maybe we just do Holland as long as I have enough cash, but we don't, we don't do some of these expensive ones for a bit. Troops of Scotland ended. Okay. I would like to get my claim on Dith Martian on the off chance I can use this. Maybe we do make them into a military march. The Peasant Republic serving the Vikings. That makes sense. I think that's a great idea. It's brilliant. E. Holsten Separatists. Maybe this is why I can't release them, because there are still Separatists out there. You think? I don't know. I don't think so. I, 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 don't th I don't think that's the reason. Influenza spreads. Gosh, fine. We can go for the prestige. Um, kind of want to get the idea groups, but I think we'll just keep going down this route. Gotta keep going with that admin. 11 power. Wait, we lost an advisor. Hang on. It's going to cost me money I don't have, but that's fine. Conversions are done. Okay, so now we can't convert somebody else. We'll go for the cheap one. Might as well keep making progress, I guess, right? But now we're making cash, as long as I have low army maintenance. Would love more cannons. We can build a couple, but when we do decide to go to war and raise our army maintenance, it's going to cost me a lot of money. Austria declares war on Bavaria. Okay, they're trying to consolidate the HRE. Makes sense. How are you guys doing here? You are gaining imperial authority. You got 50 princes? Lord. The Platinate is the Emperor, and they're doing pretty good. They're doing a very good job. You should be proud of yourselves. Um, War taxes would be nice. De jour law reduces unrest by a lot. But only works in states, so I don't see a lot of point to this. Claims bordering claims is just sort of okay. Transferring subjects can be helpful, but not a big deal right now. Not going to do more cavalry because we have infantry combat ability. So the question is, do I want the one combat bonus in all farmlands? Or do I want free war taxes so when I go to war, I can reduce my army maintenance and keep them going? For now, I think we go for the combat bonus. That should be okay. Why can't you guys move? Come on, get your morale up there. Get over here. Join the army. There we go. So now I got four cannons. Yay! Can afford three more troops. Okay. Man, that is expensive, though. Good lord. Why, you Danes? Why are you so resistant to joining the Norse religion? It's your heritage. Come on. You know you want to. 
Uh, what's going down here with the Stralsen... Separatism, Stivina? Yeah, it's still the autonomy decreased. Uh, when does this expire? Can't be changed until 1494. Oh, gosh, that's going to take a long time. This is one of the reasons I don't like reducing autonomy most of the time. I know a lot of people swear by it. Ooh, crap, they're actually about to fire. Hang on. Reduce missionary maintenance. We'll just go slow there for a minute. Transfer across, quickly. No, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. They fired. Don't, don't do it. If you guys jump in there with no morale, we'll just die. Alright, they're gonna get the years of separatism again, but oh well. Um, Ulster. Hmm. Okay, Holstein has declared independence. So they're now an independent member of the uh, HRE, and there's nothing I can do about them. Ulster, I would get a little money from taxes, a little bit of money here from extra trade value in grain or manpower. I think we go for the production. Yes. So this sucks. Hate getting more years of separatism here. But oh well. Um, we have 14 transports, so what we should do is take you guys with the general and have you go. Yeah, making sure we have the right group being transported across. Alright, go kill. And noble rebels in our vassals' territory. Interesting. Well, we're about to head over to Ireland anyway. Because I think we need to start looking for opportunities to kill Scotland. So let's go ahead and send you guys over here. We might end up having to help our vassal. He seems to have retreated for some reason. Coward. Uh, let's reduce army maintenance again because I am now bleeding money. Influenza spreads again. Gosh. It'll stop eventually. I mean, there's only so far it can go. Uh, do we want the Diplotech? Yes. Let's go ahead and take the morale of navies. That's fine. Get ahead of time. Get the extra trade efficiency and whatnot. Translates into a little bit of extra money. How are we doing in terms of trade here? I haven't really been paying attention. 26%. That's not a lot. Owning Holstein or uh, Lubeck would do a lot to give me control here. Would give me a lot. If I wanted to spend some money, I think... Can we not... Yeah, I could try to get the natural harbor upgraded for 200 ducats. That would be a good investment. Electing a quartermaster. Buccaneers gain influence. We get a cheaper quartermaster. That's probably good. Or a morale of navies. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to take that guy. That advisor. All right, we need to end this video here. But thank you all very much for watching. I do hope that you enjoyed. And if so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. All right, let's go ahead and do it.